Welcome back to Frank's Show, everybody. A few things that I want to touch on today. The Guzzi bolt, XL600 Allen bolt, and what does the XL600 have to do with a set of plane tickets? So let's quickly touch on that one and talk about it. Now, the XL600 LM, the project um, was always to get the bigger 28 liter tank. Unfortunately, shipping costs are really, really sky high. And uh, I'm not kidding if I'm saying just to get the tank shipped here is, <laughs> is about 500 euros, give or take. So I can actually book a flight, go visit my solicitor friend in Ireland, hop on to a connecting flight to Italy for about 48, 46 euros, collect the tank and actually bring it back as carry-on luggage. So um, I've, I've done a lot of homework with uh, my traveling agen agency, International Travels, and uh, they assured me there won't be a problem, but obviously we, we're still tying up a bit of loose ends to, to just make sure that I'm not stuck there with a tank and I can't board the plane. But yeah, that's happening. Um, that's, that's a bit more on the XL600 Allen build. And what actually we have received on this bike is the proper decal kit. Every single decal, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but let me try and get up and show you a bit more so that it doesn't fall apart. This is the full XL600 LM Dakar kit. And we will apply that as soon as we have the tank and we have stripped down the frame completely. Um, I'm keeping it in one piece at the moment. Fitted the tire front, fitted the tire at the back. Still want to use it a bit as a daily until um, we are actually ready to start the deconstruction and all the parts are here. Otherwise, it's just parts all over the place. For this week and uh, our next video for Friday that will be coming up. We'll be having done a lot more work on this. Um, I'm actually spending the whole of next week to finalize everything on this. Now, on this bike, everything is done meticulously in detail, and that's why it's taking such a long time. But as soon as it is done, it is going up for sale to make way for a new project that will come in. Oh, we'll see, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, working on one project I just want to make sure that the paperwork is fine as if the paperwork is fine then then it's not a problem we'll get our next project in but um, you'll have to stick around to see what that bike will be I'm not going to talk about it too much now uh, as I said on a previous video exhaust pipe will be done so hopefully if all works out um, this should be done within the next week max 2. I'm boarding the plane on the 6th of July until we return or whenever. Um, I want this to be finished before I actually board the plane. So what we'll do is we'll do a nice detailed video what we've done and also remember on this bike I haven't got the Filofax with me it's actually in the house. The guy that I boarded from um, an Italian bloke, very, very, very nice, and he's most probably also watching this video. Um, he has taken care of this bike like you won't believe it throughout the years, and he accumulated a file of facts about this thick of work being done. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was work that's been done on this bike since about the 80s, around about there. And he's taken care of it so well. Um, obviously, that will include a full workshop manual. As I said, the file of is about this thick. So that will actually, the whole history will carry on to its new owner. Um, 
the original tank is uh, just out of camera sight but that also has been exactly spray painted like this one uh, and the new owner has the option to have it in this style or actually convert it back to completely original I have not cut anything on this motorcycle and then uh, I've been talking about this in a few videos I, I refuse to cut anything on this motorcycle if you want to convert it back to original you're more than welcome to do it and this is where the value lies um, it's easy to take a thing and chop it off here and chop it off there um, but that takes away from the bike's originality and heritage I wanted something that is uh, a bike that is in my style a design that I chose how I want it um, and as I said the new owner can really decide on what he wants to do convert it back to original and when I say converting it back to original unbolting the clip-ons um, bolting on the standard screen again fitting the standard tank it's all there we've got the cane in for the standard carbs standard engine standard everything um, except what i did upgrade was uh, the brake reservoir in the front the old one was just really i don't know i, I wouldn't trust it um, i'll have a look at the rear one that's actually one thing I haven't touched on as yet. I need to finish that build and if it needs another one, I'll just go get a new one and then I'm happy and I know it's safe to to use. Um, I concentrated a lot on the, the gearbox. What my problem was is that it shifted perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but sort of. The return spring kept on coming out. <coughs> And I traced it back to a problem that somebody at some stage took the rear portion of the gearbox off and never put in the new gasket again. <coughs> I think I'm staying incorrect, but it might be about 0 0.7, 0 0.9 millimeter thick. And as soon as I got that gasket in, it just spaced it out a bit and everything lined up perfectly. And you, you won't believe that 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 little bit of spacing actually made the difference um, we had the uh, universal joints uh, universal joint reconditioned that's been sorted out uh, complete service on the engine oil filter and by the way this one's oil filter is actually inside the sump so you need to take off the sump to unscrew this uh, the oil filter but yeah um, I was still in a decision stage uh, on the rear exhaust system for uh, things lining up <clears throat> if I build my cafes the way I want them to I always make sure that um, I try and keep things lined up there's a line for your front suspension which flows into a line of the exhaust system but this is just me some people may differ so it's not just a uh, hodgepodge that's being assembled there's actually method in thinking behind everything but one of my big challenges was that your exhaust system especially with your footing on uh, the gear lever I didn't want the exhaust too close to your shoes otherwise it will just burn your shoes through and it it's just not practical so um, I know the other side looks a bit better but it's impractical so I have to find a compromise there somewhere and uh, make a decision in the week and just um, do the little extension and, uh, and build it in stainless steel pipes have been bought beautiful i'm not going to, uh, going to arc weld them or anything i'm actually thinking of doing uh, my own brazing and, and i want to see what it looks like just to get that uh, gold rim around it as i said there's there's method behind everything that i do on this motorcycle and then obviously we need to build the seat and get that worked in but yeah um In between as well you'll see a video of the Africa Twin. I'm, I wanted to do a lot more at this stage and I just don't have the time. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a top end rebuild of the Africa Twin. I know um, there's a bit of valve work and uh, needle cut. I might just say, uh, yeah, obviously, after we'll do the videos as we get to that one. That's, a, that's the third thing. I don't want to stretch this video out too long. 
So, Moto Guzzi, <coughs> we'll do our work day. Um, XL 600 LM, obviously, 28 litre tank. I uh, will go and collect it in Italy, or my solicitor will collect it. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how things pan out. And then I'll strip this one down and do the build of that. Um, fork seals have been ordered, and a bunch of stuff have been ordered for this. But more on this, and then more on the Africa Twin top end rebuild so that I can get that mobile again and uh, running. Cool. Watch out for videos, there's actually a lot happening within the next month, um, which you will see. A lot more content. I need to finish these things. This guy needs to find a new home and uh, we'll still decide what I'm going to do with this one. But we'll get there. Until our next video, bye bye everybody.